Okay. I'm going to try this again. <laughs> um, this video has been on my, well, this subject has been on my mind. Um, I have been going through this. I have been seeing it rising, uprising. I have been seeing um, this demon, demonic activity increasing <clears throat> um, at an extremely elevated level um, spiritually. As in the days of Noah are definitely here. We know this, those of us that know what's going on. Um, back then, the people were just as wicked as they are now. We are seeing extreme wickedness in the world. I don't have to explain or go into detail of what we're seeing, but just yesterday, I think this was the second time it happened, because I remember, I remember this story happening like a year ago. Unless that was a dream I had <laughs> of this event now, I would have to go research because about a year ago, there was a woman who responded to a, an ad or something happened and basically another woman came and ripped her baby out of her womb. And this happened again yesterday it almost sounded like the same exact story and I that was like a year ago and here it was again yesterday and I was so confused when I saw the news I was like is this the same story is this like the woman's in court today uh, now I gotta go back and look because now I'm confused because I had a either I had a dream or that really did happen a year ago and no one's bringing up the last time it happened um demons are getting people to rip babies out of wombs. Demons are getting people to behead people by the hundreds now. Um, demons are getting people to rise up in the name of racial pride and making people that were not racist before into pure-blooded racists. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of this. The level of narcissism uprising, especially via social media, is out of control. And even those of us who know what's happening and have as good of a heart as you can have on this ball, because um, we all know the heart is wicked and who can know it, um... There are those of us that are now in Christ Jesus and our hearts are different, okay, than the world. And the true hearts are coming out in people, is what I'm saying. And you got to be careful even as a active um, warrior Christian in this time and age to not get let yourself get sucked into being that kind of person too i am seeing wonderful christian people taking selfie after selfie after selfie after selfie after selfie after selfie you get what i'm saying making faces like that right there <laughs> i have caught myself trying to do certain, you know, pictures, trying to be cool or trying to look neat for my Facebook or whatever and being like, um, and later being like, why did I even put that up and taking it down? Okay, it this is getting out. <clears throat> the narcissism is happening to everybody. Everybody. You don't have to be worldly or a non-Christian to experience this narcissism. It's it's a spiritual warfare level um, narcissism. And it's getting worse and worse and worse. And it's going to. 
and the Jezebel spirit is mixing with it. And I'm seeing um, the Jezebel spirit's already in the church uh, preaching prosperity, false prophets. Sorry, this is blurry. Um, and um, she's in the church with the with the prosperity. We all, I mean, those of us that know what the, what's going on and know how to how know how to test the spirit, because you got to test the spirit. You have to test the spirit. You cannot sit there and take anybody's word for it. Not even me. This is mo I'm gonna say this is mo mostly an opinion video, but it's obviously real. It's obviously what's happening. I'm very observant of what's going on. The Holy Spirit does talk to me and show me what's going on, and that can that can be for anybody. That is not some special power, you know. There are some some Christians that that, that I know. That asks me why they can't hear from God. And I'm like, if you're not hearing from God and you are a born again Christian, you are doing something wrong. The Holy Spirit is there to teach you all things. He will tell you if someone's a false prophet. He will tell you if someone's a false teacher. You know, you don't have to go around guessing. You put line it up with the scripture, it will add up. It'll make itself seen. The Jezebel spirit cannot hide too much, too well. Now, the Jezebel spirit is extremely hard to deal with. I have dealt with many of them now. And most of the time, I don't even realize what they are until, um, until into it, you know, until you start getting into it with that person. You're like, what is... What the heck, you know? <laughs> or you walk away if you're really strong. Um, you are not to tolerate this spirit. When this spirit in a person starts acting up and shows itself, and you're not to tolerate it. You are not to let it get away with what it gets away with. Um, if you don't want to engage and you just want to be like, bye, you know, fine, that's good, fine, that's good for you. But if you want to engage that spirit, you are not going to win unless you have backup. Unless you have more than one Christian there to assist you. Because it will turn everything you say right back on you. And you won't know what, what to do. You'll just be like, okay, I better just go now. And you'll just say something dumb or get mad or it'll provoke you to anger. Its whole entire mission is pretty much to just mess up your day, mess up your walk, mess up your plans. I ran into one just uh, yesterday when I was trying to make this very video. <laughs> it sure got me distracted. I was arguing with this person back and forth, debating, and I wasn't supposed to be doing all that. This person just thought they knew everything and was and turned everything I said around on me and turned me into something I wasn't and I was just like appalled I couldn't believe it and this person's supposed to be another Christian and I called it out I just couldn't take it anymore and I called it out and I said you're a Je you have Jezebel in you and it got real mad and of course anyone would get mad at being accused of that but I knew it was I knew it was I've dealt with these before there's worldly ones, and then there's the ones that are straight in the church, which are really scary when you're dealing with them, that they could even be in the church serving, in the church teaching. Some, you know, the ones that are very provocative, um, and it's about prosperity, and it's, it's, it's so... Anyway, um, Je more a little bit more about a Jezebel person because you're going. I'm just making this video because they are coming. They are coming through. That CERN thing is going on, and I know this is, has something to do with the um, increase or uprise of the demonic activity that's coming, because it's almost like the demons themselves, the fallen angels, whatever they are, want to call themselves. 
are getting excited. They're getting excited because they have been waiting for this. They, it's all, I don't know if they're bored, <laughs> but they have been waiting for the, for us to get out of the way for the rapture to happen and we're gone and we're out of the way so they can just, and, and they're getting excited and they're getting riled up and the Satanists and the elites and the Illuminati's and all these crazy Satanistic, Satanic weirdos that are just completely possessed are summoning this stuff like major, okay? And we are just seeing wickedness on a whole new level. ISIS is proof of that. The the girl that whipped, ripped the baby out of the womb yesterday, proof of that. The abortion numbers, proof of that. You know, and, and these... The homosexuality, I'm sorry, but the homo, the gay marriage thing, proof of that. It, we're every, they're, every, they're just tearing down everything of God, everywhere you look, all around, every, and, and the Christians know the vigilant, ready-to-go, rapture-ready, born-again Christians with the new hearts and new transformation and new creations in Christ, they know, okay? Unless you are just brand newly saved... If you do not know what time we are in, and if you do not feel this demonic power coming through oozing into our world, if you don't feel this, I'm sorry, but I question, I question your salvation. Even the most joyful, happy-go-lucky, um, constantly serving the Lord in the joyful encouragement arena know what's going on. <laughs> they don't even talk about it. They, they're they a different set of Christians. Praise them. They are encouragers and they don't pay attention to the evil stuff and they go and they do. They dwell on what is good and what is pure and, and that's something I'm learning myself that I gotta dwell on that because this stuff you dwell on this stuff and you get really sad. <laughs>